look at this one. <clears throat> it's a, a crane with a winch here at A, a lifts cargo B. So does this look like a constrained motion problem to you? We've got this rope um, you know, going around this pulley. And so what happens is that the velocity of B is related to the rotation of A. Uh, <clears throat> there are a number of ways to, to do this. Um, but the way I like to handle like a winch or something that is wrapping this rope. You see how this rope is, is wrapping around this winch. Uh, I'm going to just replace this winch with li like a hand uh, that is pulling it with some velocity right here. All right, so if I know the winch at A has a radius of 6 inches, and it's rotating at 5 radians per second, right? So this is rotating at 5 radians per second. Uh, what is really the velocity right here on the edge of the winch, right? The velocity right here on the edge of this winch. Uh, or, or I can just, I can, I can kind of think about uh, if it is rotating at 5 radians per second, how many, you know, inches or feet, how many inches... Or how many feet of rope is this pulling? Uh, so it, it's sort of just a unit conversion, a unit conversion of five radians per second. And so I know that for for every um, revolution, I've got two pi radians. So I kind of took care of the radians. So so if it's going at how many revolutions per second, uh, what length of rope? is it pulling? Uh, so I, I like to just think of this as, as for one revolution, what length of rope is it pulling? Well, I'd say for one revolution, it pulls this rope that length, the circumference of that winch. So for one revolution, it pulls the rope, how do you like to do um, circumferences? Uh, two pi, six inches, um, but looking ahead, I'm going to say that's half a foot. So this is in feet. So I've really just converted radians to feet per second. All right, and this turns out to be 2.5 feet per second. All right, 2.5 feet per second. So what if I rewrote this problem instead of a winch, right here. I said, what if I'm pulling at this with a velocity of 2.5 feet per second? What is the velocity of B? Or actually, technically, it asks how, not necessarily the velocity of B, but it, it says how um, long does it take to lift the cargo five feet. All right. Let's do this like a constrained motion problem. Let, let's come up with some L total. So I'm going to say that the length of this uh, is LB, this dimension right here. Uh, all the way down here is LA. So L total would be well, 1 LA and 2 LBs. So the derivative, uh, t sorry, 1 VA plus 2 VBs. All right, and so I'm setting that equal to 0. Now, now, you can fast forward uh, for a second if you don't want to get bogged down into this. Uh, but because I replaced my winch with a hand, uh, and this hand is pulling the rope, I, I would say that the total length of the rope uh, would be, uh, the total length of the rope would be, the derivative, sorry, of the total length of the rope would be zero. The length of the rope does not change. Now, there's another way to do this. There's another way to do this in saying that A is actually shortening the length of the rope. So if you keep this winch, you might think, some other books might explain this by saying that uh, the length of the rope is shortening, uh, but what would happen is that LA would be constant. And so we're really just trading, uh, you know, because I've got this VA over here, um, the the other way to think about this problem is that there's actually sort of a negative VA lengthening the rope, and this LA turns out to be zero. But anyway, the way I'm going to teach these problems is replace that winch with a hand that is pulling the rope. And that way, the length of the rope, is total length of the rope is not changing, so its derivative is equal to zero. All right? Uh, but anyway, here, here's our uh, equation right here. We're just going to plug in a positive 
right there, positive 2.5, positive, why? Because it's going out. Uh, and so if I plug in positive 2.5 right there, 2.5 plus 2 VB, VB is negative 1.25 feet per second. What does that negative mean? That negative just means that if positive is out, that negative means in. So it's actually going up. And I think we all knew that already. All right, but how long does it take to lift the cargo five feet? So it's not asking for the velocity, it's asking for the time. Uh, assuming this is a constant rotation of five radians per second, uh, then th th that would make this a constant uh, velocity. And so for constant velocity, and only for constant velocities, right, velocity is delta change in distance over change in time. Um, kind of a side note, you still could say SF equals SI plus VIT plus one-half a t squared, and set your acceleration to zero, right? Isn't this the same as that right there? So this 1.25 feet per second, and it's going five feet, how many seconds does it take? All right, so we've got t is equal to four seconds. So, you know, just kind of step back and looking at this problem. It's a uh, constrained motion problem. I, I wrote my length of the rope, uh, but but I took this winch and replaced it with a hand. Um, and everything still uh, is this, everything follows the rules, right? I'm defining these positive out. I'm defining them from a fixed position right here. Um, the, the lengths are in the direction of the velocities, um, so it, it obeys all the rules. So there we go, we got uh, t is equal to four seconds.